uh, this uh, video of INS Vikrant and INS uh, Vikramaditya conducting seamless integrated exercises involving 35 aircraft, uh, destroyers, frigates, submarines and auxiliary support uh, ships. Indian Navy there showcasing its prowess in the Arabian Sea. We have Abhishek joining us on the phone line to give us more details about the operations uh, that are taking place in uh, the Indian Ocean right now. Abhishek, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is the first time uh, probably both these aircraft uh, carriers are flexing the naval might uh, in, uh, in the seas. What more details can you get us? Uh, Abhishek, if you can hear me, we are show we're showing these pictures on the screen right now of uh, uh, India's uh, two aircraft carriers, INS Vikramaditya uh, and uh, Virat, uh, showcasing its naval might in the Arabian Sea. For the first time, such an exercise is being uh, conducted. What are the details that you're gathering? Well, yes, Sanika, this is the first time that the two aircraft carriers that India has, INS uh, Vikramaditya and indigenous aircraft carrier, INS Virat, both uh, uh, in a formation moved in the Arabian Sea, uh, accompanied with uh, uh, their own uh, flotilla and uh, warships, uh, frigates and destroyers uh, and even submarines. Uh, between the two aircraft carriers, they carry 35 uh, uh, aircrafts and that really underscores the kind of power projection that India can do now in the high seas. Uh, essentially, aircraft carriers add uh, a bring blue water capability to navies and uh, in the case of India now, we have two, uh, which makes us, uh, after the United States, uh, uh, in this part of the world at least, uh, except for China only, we have uh, two functioning aircraft carriers. Uh, and uh, uh, the, this power projection uh, with uh, the kind of uh, aircraft, including MiGs, MiG-29K, fighter jets, uh, and then uh, uh, MH-60, our helicopters, Kamo, Sea Kings, Shetaks, and even advanced light helicopters, they were all uh, on board. Essentially, what this means is that this becomes a floating sovereign airfield uh, between the, the two centerpiece showcase aircraft carriers, uh, effectively becoming a mobile air base, so to say. And uh, uh, the kind of power projection that comes with it, uh, the significance of this is that uh, in the Indian Ocean region, as uh, um, our leadership says that... Uh, India is a net security provider, and that's something which is acknowledged by others. For example, uh, when the United States Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin was in New Delhi just last week, he also underscored the fact that um, the significance of Indo-Pacific is that India happens to be a net security provider uh, in, in its uh, neighborhood. And uh, with this kind of uh, capability now with two functioning aircraft carriers, uh, I think a message is going that uh, we are going to enhance and uh, increase our reach uh, in terms of providing that net security. So I think it's a reassuring message to the world that we are there to take care of everyone. Uh, for example, just last uh, fortnight, there was this incident of uh, a Chinese uh, fishing vessel capsizing uh, off uh, the coast of Diego Garcia, I believe. Uh, and uh, uh, while perhaps there were no survivors, uh, India pressed into service uh, its assets, uh, both in terms of reconnaissance, in terms of rescue, and uh, assisted the Chinese. I mean, despite the narrative that the China China is increasingly uh, belligerent and uh, behaving like an enemy. Uh, India extended all courtesy and uh, came to the rescue of uh, and then in support of their relief and rescue operations uh, or whatever uh, or could be salvaged uh, from that uh, um, uh, misfortune, uh, unfortunate incident. So I think uh, these pictures that are on air, uh, Sanika, uh, are a message uh, to the world and a reassuring message to the world that 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 India is a net security provider and uh, would use its resources to take care of everyone else apart from our own security. Uh, so this hardware there on display in the high seas uh, is underscoring of India's might if someone tries to, you know, take on us. And then is also uh, uh, a message that uh, all this is uh, very elephantine in the sense that we are protective, we take care, and uh, we are going to be net security providers in the region. Abhishek, just stay on, uh, stay on with us uh, because uh, for, our, for the benefit of our viewers, we, we would like to play uh, this video once again uh, with the audio just to show the kind of scale of the exercise that has taken place in the Arabian Sea.
Abhishek, uh, coming back to you, we've seen this uh, video and we've seen how uh, basically these exercises were conducted even in the night time and they've met with huge success. Uh, this is an exercise involving at least 35 aircraft, destroyers, uh, frigates, submarines and auxiliary support uh, ships. Uh, if you can uh, shed more light on the kind of aircraft carriers that we have, the INS Vikrant and INS Vikramaditya, indigenously made... A, symbols of Atmanirbhar Bharat that we have right now. Uh, you know, if you, can, uh, if you can elaborate on the salient features of these two aircraft carriers that we have. Yeah, uh, first uh, about the scale of the operation, uh, Kanika, since you mentioned, uh, it's a spectacular display of uh, uh, Navy's uh, multi-carrier operations capability. Uh, coordinate. In the pictures when you see, it's not just the two aircraft carriers. Uh, so there is a whole... Uh, paraphernalia that goes uh, or comes with it. Uh, uh, so each aircraft carrier is essentially a flotilla with uh, uh, a set of destroyers and frigates accompanying. Remember, aircraft carriers by themselves are not armed. They are essentially air bases, floating air bases carrying those aircrafts. And uh, so the frigates and the destroyers accompany even submarines. So, so in, the, in the pictures that we see, we are seeing those aircraft carriers and the accompanying uh, uh, flotilla of frigates and destroyers and warships, but there are submarines also down there, apart from the aircraft, uh, which you can see flying on and off uh, the board of uh, the two aircraft carriers. So it's a huge operation by itself. The Navy's capability of carrying out this kind of complex operation and uh, to project that kind of power uh, with the, all these aircraft carriers, submarines, uh, uh, destroyers, frigates coming together in this formation. This, this, this underscores our technology expertise uh, in the maritime domain, and uh, the fact that uh, these uh, together carry out this, out this joint exercise in the morning uh, off the western seaboard in the Arabian Sea, um, and, 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 and with all these aircrafts that are there, 35 of them, including the MiGs, I was talking about uh, the Kamov uh, and uh, seeking uh, helicopters, also Chetak and Advanced Flight helicopters, apart from MH-60R, essentially uh, these mobile bases, they, they, they can be positioned anywhere and allow for increasing mission flexibility. And then you, you in coordination with all the other naval assets, uh, essentially what you are doing is you are going into the blue waters and uh, taking power projection that far. So uh, this, is, this, is, this is a message that Indian Navy is capable and ready to really support uh, uh, not just India's security needs, but the collective security needs in the larger Indian Ocean region about which I was talking about, India being the net security provider. Insofar as uh, uh, the specifics of uh, the two aircraft, uh, aircraft carriers go, I mentioned the aircraft that are on board, more are being in integrated. Remember, India is in talks with uh, uh, both uh, uh, and the United States. We have to see whether we get the air hornets or uh, uh, the Rafale naval version, um, whichever comes uh, and would be on board a dedicated squadron for the INS uh, Virat, uh, the indigenous aircraft. Uh, remember the air, it's 100% uh, of it is steel in manufactured in India, innovated for uh, uh, our requirements, the design itself innovated for our requirements. Uh, about 500 uh, MSMEs uh, have worked on uh, other components uh, that go into the making of the aircraft carrier and they have in turn hundreds and thousands of patents going for whatever they have delivered. Uh, the avionics uh, the electric, the electronic component is Israeli, uh, and 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 maybe uh, you know picked up from other places, but then innovated and integrated as per Indian requirements. There has there has been a huge capacity uh, upgrade that has happened in terms of India's technological and uh, uh, and scientific uh, capabilities uh, by this one project alone, which is the INS Virat. But then now what we are seeing in pictures, Sanekra and the viewers would appreciate is India's, uh, that the technological upgrade and updation is essentially back end the learnings that we have, the takeaways, but then uh, essentially what we have got is uh, the kind of blue water power projection that is now visible with those two aircraft carriers there in the high seas uh, with the flotilla, company flotilla, sending across a message that India is there to take care of everybody's security in the region. Thank you very much, Abhishek, uh, for getting us a uh this information and also these videos of uh, of indian navy showcasing its might in the seas